Hey, hey, what's popping? I'm K Rose, and if you are new here, welcome, honey. And for my honeys, hi, how have you been, honey? So, today we will be creating this clean makeup looks, giving flawless, giving clean, giving clean, girl era, simple, not every day. You, you can wear this literally every day, giving no makeup look and stuff, bro. You can wear this to any time you, you can wear this everywhere, basically, like I said. <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, let's get in the in the zoom, honeys. See. So this is what I applied on my face. This is the primer that I always use, y'all, because I love it so much, and it gets the job done basically. Um. Then I just like to blend it in, and then also on my neck, honey. On my neck, honey. So yeah for foundation i'm using maybelline and i just already started applying the the dots on my face honey and then i'm gonna blend blend it out with uh what is it uh a blending what is it <laughs> yeah child not me forgetting what is this a blending sponge child. anyway um that was embarrassing so I just like to blend, blend, blend it out. And then I just like to add more as I go. I don't like, honey, I didn't do my eyebrows. I tell me why I didn't do my eyebrows. Okay. I honestly don't usually do my eyebrows after my makeup, but I think um, I'm gonna stop applying my um, foundation now and do my eyebrows child. Uh, yeah because I only started with my eyebrows I don't know why I forgot today but we go be alright we go be alright I think there's a first time for everything right so for my eyebrows I'm gonna use this um, she she glam product that I got um, it has a spoolie and um, a, free, a freeze wax because I've always wanted to get one myself one and this is how it looks from outside so it literally looks like there's nothing right honey honey okay so far I love it I love it so much well it's my first time using this this way because I usually use the pure soap from this cam um, well Lix also has it but um, I saw this the other day on she and I was like, we have to get one, right? And literally, my eyebrows look good. Eyebrows look good, honey, 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 honey. Then to fix whatever, uh, to fix the wax, I just go in with my finger. And then um, drawing like lines. I'm not going like crazy on the eyebrows because I want my eyebrows to be not to be obviously natural natural but not to be dark as well i don't want i don't like dark eyebrows like that because they just look funny right so i'm just adding small lines and because i'm going for like a natural makeup look this is what i usually do if i'm like i'm in a hurry and i want to go out literally with my friends or something and i didn't maybe manage my time well so i like I to just... put the concealer on my on the back of my hand so that i can like easily manage it and stuff so i don't put a lot um and then i use a flat brush a flat flat angle brush as you can see then i yo so and then for this side i go with the angle right this ain't the tutorial for eyebrows, but I just thought I should just, I shouldn't cut that out. So that's what basically I do. Um, and then I put it slowly there. Then the rest, I'm going to put it on my eye, but I'm not there yet. So I just go back and fix the line if I feel like it's a bit skew. Yeah. Then I go in with my blending sponge to blend the concealer well. 
um, yeah then for the other eye I just do the same thing right then for the top of my eyebrows I like to use a foundation stick because it's easier to control and everything this is a stick from signature caramel as well I'm using a caramel um, shade and then then just to get the shape that i want i just like to go in and then draw like um a little bit of make a little bit of strokes in the middle and then blend continue blending um yeah well my eyebrows look very thin at the moment because i what is it i was shaping them and like ended up cutting a lot and then um here in front i like to just put a little bit of that whatever that's left in the brush i just like to put it do it the i don't know what to call this i just to put a little bit here and i hope i'm not bending a lot because i feel like i'm blending a lot um but yeah so that they don't look crazy and i don't have like sharp lines and then now i'm gonna go back to my foundation apply the next coat i don't know where's my foundation now child what i legit don't know where i put uh oh it's next to me <laughs> they get a child because <laughs> now i'm out here worried about what happened to my foundation <laughs> anyway i was saying i'm gonna put the second coat now <laughs> joke child what did you not a joke so that's uh that's so funny to me i know because <laughs> i was legit looking for it like i'm searching i even went back to use my old one because i couldn't find this the one that i normally use so yeah that happened <laughs> anyway so i just go in and put the second coat um and then i avoid putting foundation underneath my eye leads like um for the under eye because that's where i usually put the concealer and then yeah let me just blend this out child blend blend we're gonna bend blend blend beat this face up all right but we're going for a natural look a look that you can do under 30 minutes basically if you don't lose i think my phone is skew i hope i'm not out of place but yeah if you don't lose your material so just put your things organize your things so that you don't have to go around missing them so yeah i'll be back just now we can done kick the button. and then i like to put a little bit of foundation on my neck honey because i don't like my neck to be looking crazy well for the dress that i'm currently wearing it's uh, not gonna be obvious and then also just on my ear you don't have to do that that's just that's just me that's just me and then i'm gonna i'm gonna put on the concealer I like to put my concealer this way because i don't like putting uh, like extra concealer and also putting it this way like pulling it it just makes the eye to have a certain shape that's nice right and then i just go and blend it like the same way blend it this side um i use the small part of the blending sponge well this sponge is so nice because it has um both the bigger side and the small side and then i just like to take it up take it up take it oh the song that i'm thinking right now is so wrong and then um here on my nose i don't like putting a lot i just put a little bit what is that now okay uh apparently my phone was overheating um that's why it was doing that basically so after um, i've obviously went to blend in my face and then do a little bit of uh blending and fixing and then i just went to what is it i was doing washing my dishes while i'm allowing time for my phone to cool off right so i'm using this um baking powder from sheet lamb as well and then i just like to put a little bit under my eye and then because we're going for like a natural look right so i just like to put under my eye and on the eyelids because i won't be doing any eyeshadow or anything like that so yeah and then i go in with my for the, the rest of my face i just go in with my 
Maybelline pressed powder. I know it's broken because I stepped on it by mistake the other day. And yeah, what was it doing on the floor, honey? I don't know. It was... It was hanging, I guess. <laughs> I guess it was hanging on the floor. Then I stepped on it. And then um, I just like to cover my whole face literally with the pressed powder. And then I just like to to make the foundation to soak in basically then also on my neck honey um my phone is skew again why can why do i keep putting my phone to be skew okay then i just like to do that then yeah we're almost done with this look um basically almost done i'm gonna list all the products that i used in the description box and then after i like to put in the cream powder well you don't have to put the cream powder on top of the pressed powder if you prefer you can still um what is it do the cream powder before putting the do the cream blush before doing the other things right and then let me get my blending sponge then I like to go in and do my blush. I love blush these days. That's why I'm putting a lot. But we're going for a natural makeup look. So you don't have to put this much. You don't even have to use blush. You can skip this step and just put on your other stuff. Then I go in with the best, the, the back, not the best, the back of the foundation just to blend it in so that it's not harsh. And it still like sits in my face not without it looking crazy right yeah i need to, to get my nails done honey because i keep using my nails and they are not done and this is not cute so yeah i just like to drag it on like sort of in like a c-shape um this is not in particular order but that's the thing about makeup you get to do it there however you want to do it and then you can still get the job done right after i'm gonna go in with the yeah i know i have been having this baby for years and she still works i got this um contour palette from from what is it signature a long time ago honey and it still works it's still in good shape um well it's almost finished because i always use this one but yeah then i just like to put it like basically i put it beneath the the blush yeah and then i'm gonna go and contour my nose I'm using um then you just dust off the excess so that you don't have like a look crazy and then i like to put it from i pull it basically from what is it from my eyebrows And this brush works well because it has like a, a shape. I don't know if you can see. But it's so work, easy to work with. We're almost done with this look. After contouring. Then I just like to blend it in. Blend it in. To give my nose like a sharp. Like an, a nice shape basically um yeah well then i like to this is also the highlights from what is it signature then i just like to put it blend them like all around like that then i put it here like on top of the So the nice thing about this one is like it has a highlight type bronzer and everything and then you can just put everything mix it together and you know it looks crazy now but we're gonna fix it that's why i love the blending sponges because you can always blend in blend fix whatever it's not looking good basically then i'm gonna go in with my blending sponge again and just blend this highlighter on so that it doesn't look crazy because i don't like um i like it to like listen um but not to look crazy like to look too sharp and stuff you know if you know what i mean honey 
I love seeing honey these days. And by the way, I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know, uh, pooping crew is so overrated. Um, not overrated. So basically, like, so uh, 2020, basically. That's when I created my YouTube channel. Um, I just like to blend in everything together. Go back and blend in everything together, right? And then for my lips. No, I have to do my eyes first. I have to do my eyes first, honey. I like to use the killing thing. Why am I forgetting a lot of names of things? Like, this is not cute. Just don't hit yourself. Well, I usually use this when I know that, when I know that I'm not gonna put in eyelashes and stuff. So I'm going with the Maybelline um, mascaras. I just like to use both of them. I start with the yellow one. Then I like to like use it like in a circular motion. I don't know if you can see. Because that helps to get my eyelashes in check basically. Line my lips with the brown eyeliner. And then I go in with the essence lip gloss. Well, it's lip plumbing, but yeah, it's lip gloss as well. Then I'm gonna do my hair now, then I'll be back. Just now, just now, no, no. Then I go in with Maybelline uh, Fit Me. Um, setting fixing spray is it a fixing spray or setting spray setting spray yeah then this literally honey works it gets your makeup in check and um, sorry my phone was not staying in the right frame and then I'm just gonna put in my um, earrings now to finish up so basically as i was be while i'm doing this um then you just let your finish setting spray to set and then if you like you can even like um what is it do some wind or buy the small fan that i don't have <laughs> but anyway this is the final look i think i don't I'm not forgetting anything and then by the way i realized that um what is it there was some there's something here on my eye so basically i use the small brush to clean the under eye if you ever ruin your what is it um your mascara gets in the way you can just use a small brush to clean it right so anyway this is the final look honey and it looks it's giving everything right and um now you get the idea why you now you get you understand i mean why i put on a lot of um blush and some highlights and bronze and stuff and i was mixing it together so this is what you can do basically this is a clean uh look it's not doing too much and you're also not doing you know doing the bare minimum you know you know what i mean <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for taking the time to watch me doing this and i'm sorry about that by the way i don't know if i mentioned it before but my phone was overheating that's why i took a break oh i did mention it but yeah I thought I didn't mention it so I took a break and then now we're back honey we're back so this is one of the clean makeup looks that you can do when you want to be outside going out with your friends and girls um going out with your male friends I don't know just um yeah even going to work I I think you can even do this for an interview but just minimum minimize the highlighter and the blush then you can you'll be good to go right and then that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and what is it? Subscribe. Subscribe, honey. Subscribe because we need to get our subscribers high on top of the world. This is giving. This ain't Texas. Better hold it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's not giving that. <laughs>
But anyway, thank you so much. See you next time, honey. And by the way, if you ever see me on the streets, just say hi, Miss Honey. I'll, I'll answer you definitely. I can just say, hey, Rosette, you don't have to do too much. But without wasting time before this video gets a lot, now we're gonna go out, honey. Bye. See you next time. And next time we'll be looking crazy. Just know that next time I'll be having colors on me. But that's a story for another day. For so for today, we are done. Bye. See you next time, honey. Love you. <laughs>